guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. Thank you for joining me today. Um, Libras, this is your overall for August, 2021. And I am so excited, you guys. I'm a fellow Libra, it's my sun sign. Um, and the Libra Collective is so crazy. Like the energy that it has been, the messages that came through and the energy that I feel is very exciting, you guys. So um, do yourselves a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And uh, yeah, so let's just get right into it, you guys. Um, by the way, today is July 31st, 2021 and it's a timeless video so whenever the title finds you the video finds you and you're drawn in is when it's meant to find you my dears so libra okay libra 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 i heard this song it's a country song like strawberry wine 17 the hot july moon saw everything Okay, she says, my first taste of love was so bittersweet, like grain on the vine, like strawberry wine, okay? So, first of all, Libras, there's a lot of abundance, energetic abundance around you guys at this time. You guys, Libras, I feel like you guys have, sorry guys, <clears throat> I feel like in the recent past, you guys have really just put your head down, okay? Okay you've blocked people out you have put up walls boundaries borders whatever energetically with people you're standing in your queen of swords power okay like you want no bullshit you want in love you want your person to come forward and be open and honest and willing okay um but there's with the with the whole strawberry wine and all that it's like this very sweet kind of innocent childlike loving energy that I feel around you and I feel your connection but also Libra I feel like for a lot of you guys you guys have been doing a lot of spiritual work okay you've been getting more into yoga maybe you started doing Reiki maybe you are actually working with your hands and and working with energy healing and doing Reiki okay maybe you're a tarot reader psychic uh you know a medium things of that nature i'm getting all of these okay i just I, I just heard intuitive hits so yes libra you guys have been getting a lot of downloads intuitive hits lion's gate is approaching on august 8th we're already in the energy of lion's gate if you guys aren't familiar with lion's gate google it look it up it's very ener energetically it's very potent okay it's like a massive collective consciousness okay like a a reawakening or an awakening an initial awakening okay spiritually universal universal consciousness okay so yeah your dreams are going to be super intense you're probably like feeling a certain type of way like you're feeling good you can feel something in the near future you're not sure what things are maybe but something's coming and you could feel it and it is it is coming okay so then I heard transmuting and transformation. Um, so I put like transmuting slash transformation. So you guys have been transmuting old negative energy and transmuting it out and, 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 and embracing loving energy, calming energy. You've been aligning with your higher self, your chakras, things of that nature. Um, I feel like a lot of you Libras have 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 gotten very real with yourselves okay so anyways initially overall august this is kind of what's going on right then i heard cape cod like cape cod massachusetts so i don't know maybe you like fish maybe you like cod or lobster whatever but then i i immediately it went right back to um to massachusetts and libra you know where we are in the month of october you know not the end but you know, it turns into Scorpio's time for Halloween and all that. But Salem came up. Salem, Massachusetts came up. So I don't know. Okay. For a lot of you, you could be connected ancestrally and your ancestors are with you at this time. But there's something that came through. But specifically about Massachusetts, Cape Cod, maybe you're from Cape Cod. Maybe you met your person in Cape Cod. Maybe you guys went on a vacation to Cape Cod or Salem or something like that. But there's this whole, I don't know. I don't know guys, but when I get messages, I just channel it out. Um, and then I also heard Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I heard the, the part where he said, there's a lady ashore, all that glitters is gold and she's buying the stairway to heaven. 
okay when she gets there she knows okay so what this is it's you libra it's you man or woman it doesn't matter but it's your energy that i'm feeling okay you've like i said put up walls boundaries borders especially with your person in the recent past okay because you were realizing wow like all that glitters isn't gold you love this person for many of you or you have deep 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 feelings attachments emotions okay for a lot of you guys yeah i feel a spiritual connection i don't know yet how deep of a bond but it feels very spiritual could be past life soul maybe okay um you know for you guys many of you collectively right because this is a general reading um but there's something with that okay and you've realized libra and we like fancy things sometimes you know i'm very i'm a country girl i'm very you know i am simple I, I wear my my jewelry but like i wear the same jewelry all the time you know what i mean like but libras definitely have this energy of being a little bougie sometimes you know so you might be learning some lessons of all that glitters isn't gold and um you know i don't know but there's something with that so if it resonates with you fine if it doesn't just leave it it's for someone else okay another libra who will watch this video at some point in time okay all right guys so let's get into the reading <sighs> libra strawberry wine 17 so the hot july moon okay we're literally like ending july going into august there's something with that look at that awareness collective consciousness crown chakra activation There's going to be light being shown onto your connection, okay? It's like where there's been a lot of cloudiness or something, confusion. Your person, I feel, is getting ready to come in and I just heard celebrate. Very three of cups, okay? Very three of cups. A reunion, celebration, happy times, love. Like, it's just like it's all the things, okay? And there's so much beauty coming around you, Libras, in the month of August. So, collectively, there is a, for a lot of zodiacs. So, I'm telling everyone, you guys, get ready, buckle up. We're all in for a ride. Um, Lionsgate is bringing in some heat, okay? And it's in like the best possible way, you guys. So, um, for Libra, for Libra, please, for the month of August, overall energy for Libra for the month of August, just for Libra, please, overall energy for the month of August fertility i told you guys abundance told you the the green on the vine like strawberry wine see that green heart chakra okay you guys you've had short heart chakra activations where you are and this is your person too but there's like you're you're doing a lot of self-love like self-care like i said you've you put up boundaries i feel for a lot of you libras you are just starting to crack out of your shell a little bit but for the most part you guys have been spending a lot of time alone i think you know just working doing your thing but this is what you've been creating you guys have been planting seeds you've been working on stability in your life and in the month of august overall you guys look what just came out it just it just flew out and i showed i just showed you guys that See, when I speak, the universe backs me up, you guys, because I can, I channel energy and, you know, it's a part of being clairvoyant and psychic and all that, but collective consciousness here, like I said, crown chakra activations, and then here you are, Libra, sorry, it just flew out, balance, stability, financial balance and stability. For many of you Libras, you're getting, um, you're getting more financially stable and there's a lot of things starting to happen roll in and in august i'm feeling it's like um it's just like this to me is like a green light at a, at a stoplight green means goes honey you guys are going you guys are going you're getting stabilized you're getting balanced there's harmony coming in in your in your love life in um i i feel it you guys so let's see what else comes out for you guys so we're i'm going to take these as your overall energy right so let's talk about love now well there we go hi you guys you guys got two cards of foundation and harmony didn't i just 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 get done saying that there's harmony coming into your life i just said that before i shuffled this and got these cards there's ba there's balance and harmony coming into your life around love libra there it is look at that 
something with the hands. See the green light around them? It's the same green light from this card. It's heart chakra. See how it's in the vicinity of the heart? You activated someone's heart chakra, Libra, in your love connection. Or, or it activated both of your guys' heart chakras. And essentially, I'm feeling some more spiritual awakening. I'm channeling it like crazy, but it just, it is what it is. It is what it is, you guys. And collectively, like I said, it's happening like big time, okay? Like, Lionsgate is huge. Same green, heart chakra. Abundance in love, fertility in love. Something is about to grow. A seed that you planted with someone, Libra, it's been growing. It's been it's been tended to. You've put in energy. I don't feel like your person put in a whole lot of energy. <clears throat> For some of you, maybe a little bit, like some here and there. Um, maybe it kind of picked up in the beginning and it was like real hot and heavy, then just like started getting breadcrumbed. Whatever your situation is, I can go. There's so many Libras in the world, you guys. I can't give a thousand scenarios, but that's kind of overall what I'm feeling, right? From your person. Get ready. Like I just said, buckle up, right? Green light means go. Buckle up. I said that before I got this, right? It, we're, it's, it's go time. It's go time. Your person knows it. You know it. It's like, it, it's, it's ready for love. I keep channeling that song so much, you guys, by Bad Company. Ooh, baby, I'm ready for love. That's your person. That's what they're saying to you, Libra. They're saying, ooh, baby, Libra, I am ready for you. I know I've been like, whatever, but I'm ready to go now. I'm ready to go. This to me is a card of marriage. It's like hand fasting, like in Game of Thrones, how they, you know, they tie the hands and all that. And, you know, it's like how they did it in the old days, ancient times and things of that nature, but a forever bond it's a forever bond that you have with someone here and the reason also why i say forever bond is because you have this this balance here right see he has everything like the magician it's karma that's coming into your life that's good karma that you're you know that's that it's balancing out the scales the karma the you know and that's you libra like you guys are the scales we are the scales but there's something here with like a divine presence, divine intervention, or what I'm feeling is like this angel is like, it's you, your person, like your guys' angels, guides, the universe. It's all like guiding this together, I feel. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I had some blueberries before I started the reading. So <laughs> I was like, oh my God, maybe I should check my teeth. I was eating blueberries. And watermelon. And chips and salsa. Oh my God, I love salsa. I'm half Mexican, you guys. So I'm half Mexican and German. So I love salsa. I love everything. But <laughs> okay, anyways, let's get back to this. So I feel like um, your person, what I was getting at with the magician energy, your person is wanting to bring balance and harmony. Okay. This is six for me. It feels very six of cups-ish. Like you guys are remembering each other from past lives and or this life. This person is looking back on memories, fond times, great stuff that you guys have shared together. They want to look in your eyes again, Libra. There's something about your eyes or their eyes. But it's like when they see you, when they look in your eyes, they're just... They're... They're fucked. <laughs> I mean, they're they're effed. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, it's it, it is it is a very spiritual connection here that you guys have with this harmony, the fertility, the the awareness. Your person is aligning with their higher self. What is this? This flipped over. Oh, the found, firm foundation. So you have a lot of um, abundant cycles about to begin, or they're or they're picking up pace right around everything around everything in your life in the month of August, okay? August is gonna be a killer month, Libra, okay? So get ready, like I said. But there's a lot, there's some kind of firm foundation. Like I said, like I feel like for you Libras, for a lot of you guys, you guys have been spending some time alone or just like building up, building yourself up, building yourself, building your business, building, working on your career, whatever it is, you know, working on your health, getting in shape. You're doing a lot of things for you, okay? and you're building a firm foundation. But this person, your person, wants to come in and build a solid foundation with you. They wanna harmonize, alchemize. They wanna, they wanna meet you. It's like, wanna show you. 
they're thinking about you a lot all the time like you're 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 on this person's mind constantly libra constantly it's like i'm getting this super obsession energy like devil energy but it's not like a bad obsession it's like a it's a really good sorry guys my hair i hate i need to get my hair cut and, and colored and so i'm, I'm wearing it I, I wear hats all the time anyways because i love hats cowgirl but you know i have to do this sometimes anyways so I keep fidgeting. And also when, I, when I'm when i in channeling mode, okay, I, I fidget and my nose, all kinds of stuff happens. So that's why, you guys, I'm not like typically a very fidgety person. I'm actually very chill. But this one, I, in this mode, I am. Anyways, beautiful energy, you guys. Look at the rainbow. It's firm foundation. This is a, it is a divine connection that you share with this person for sure. You guys, I can feel it. I can always feel it. It's, it is, I say that, I mean, see the triangle right here. Okay. First of all, you also, you activate it. This person is aligning with their higher self. Okay. Whether they, they realize it or not, or whatever the case is. Root chakra activation here. Okay. With that red root chakra. Also, this person, the sexual chemistry between you and this person is, ugh, it's, it's intense. And this person, when I said that they think about you a lot, they think about you a lot. Okay? Catch my drift? At night, <laughs> in the shower, I don't know. But they think about you, okay? And you excite this person. And it's like this magnetic draw they can't and i feel that this person sees back and the and the mountain this has been the obstacle for you guys this has been the obstacle libra this person turned their back to the connection they turned their back on you remember earlier i said maybe breadcrumb ghosted all that stuff that's what this person was doing they turned their back on the situation so i feel libra you went like this you threw up your swords you grabbed your libra queen of swords and you cut them out, you turned your back, you did something here because this person is thinking back and remembering and they want to come in and harmonize and bring something together with you. Conscious awareness, collective consciousness. That is so trippy that, you know, I, I, I say trippy, but this kind of stuff happens literally on a daily basis in my life, all the time, all the time. So it's like, but it never gets old. It never gets old, you guys. All right, what else for Libra? We're at 17 minutes disruption <laughs> look at that bottom of the deck truth someone's about to speak their truth i just heard the truth will be revealed yeah someone's about to speak their truth the person who turned their back on you libra is going to come in and and turn back around okay it's like they're full of regret i'm hearing a lot of regret it's like they're they're very ashamed um i don't know why i'm hearing self-discipline but maybe they were trying to self maybe they were just trying to fight this off and they were like i don't want to go down that road i don't want to love or i don't know whatever their trip was could have been a third party i don't know but this person is like very big on like self-discipline and like i don't know doing things like all like accordingly or the right way or you know they don't take action like they don't just jump into stuff that maybe that's what i'm getting at maybe that's what i'm feeling but this connection caused disruption in this person's world, right? It, it forced this person to look at themselves and start healing in ways that they, I don't think they realized they weren't healed from. And that's part of the reason why you guys haven't come together yet. Okay, this person had to work through some stuff, right? But you caused some disruption in this person's life. But it's like good disruption, good disruption. This person was self-sabotaging. They were sabotaging this connection because they were self-sabotaging because they were scared. They didn't want to open up, see him like this. They didn't want to open up like, no, I don't want to feel, I don't want to feel, get away from me. I don't want to love, but they were aligning with their higher self and, and this, and this connection awoken them in so many ways. See, they saw the light, the light, the light, <laughs> and it's being divinely protected. Okay, this union is being divinely protected by the universe. I can feel it. All right, let's get into the tarot. For Libra in the month of August, for Libra and their person, tell me the overall energy coming between Libra and their person. Didn't I do this earlier? I said your swords, just like that. This is what I was doing right here. Your person is uh, in decision mode. They're making decisions. They're making choices. After a long period or period, some time, whatever, of doing 
jack squat shit, jack crap. <laughs> they weren't doing anything. They sat back, but they were thinking. They were thinking they were in their mind. And now I feel for a lot of, oh my gosh, you guys, throat chakra. Sorry, hold on. They've been wanting to tell you something for a long time for many of you Libras. They've been wanting to say something and they've been holding back. They blocked, they blocked you out. Look at this. You got two cards of people going like this. Your person is so, like, so, they were unemo unemo emotionally unavailable, okay? You're unemotionally unavailable person. Like, this person was so guarded, Libra. They were so guarded with you. Look at that. Don't want to let love in. And, and, and a back turned here. It's like two energies, you and this person. They, they shut you out and you shut them out. You had to. You had to protect yourself. And I get that. I feel like this person does too. It's like they've seen the error, excuse me, Libra, of their ways. <laughs> All right, what else for Libra? Tell me. Knight of Swords. A direct message. Communication coming in fast. Okay, that's what August is bringing in. This is overall energy for August. Remember, Libras. Knight of Wands. I mean, Knight of Swords. You know what? I said Knight of Wands for a reason right now, you guys. Sorry, guys. Because this person is so attracted to you, and, and it's the same kind of energy. It's a very fast-moving energy. You know, Knight of Swords is extremely fast-moving. This person is coming in with a quickness. Like, fast, Libra. For some of you guys, your person was healing from a divorce or a marriage, okay? They could be a father, okay? Or maybe a little bit older than you in age. But you've taught this person a lot about life, about love, whether you know it, you realize it or not, because this person, again, has been silent with the Four of Swords here, Hierophant. But they've been healing. They've been healing, but they also have been taking their time. It's been it's been a good amount of time for a lot of you guys. So feels like this person is nervous. Feels like they're still thinking. Like they're nervous, but they're thinking, but they know what they want to do. Hierophant marriage. I feel like this person does for sure. I mean, they feel the soulmate connection. They feel the soul bond. They it's like I don't think that this person, it feels like they know that like they won't meet anyone else like you or they won't, it, it just, I don't know. There's something with that. You've taught this person a lot. It's like you've shown them things that like no one else has ever shown them. But this person was definitely healing from something in the past for a lot of you guys. And that was, it could just been like a, a karmic, you know, ex-partner but they, it, it like tore them up. They've been wanting to speak a truth to you for a very long time. And it's like a lot of time has passed, like I said. So now they have to come rushing in. All right, for Libra, how does their person feel towards Libra? How does Libra's person feel for the month of August? How does their person feel? Please and thank you. Page of Wands, told you guys, and the lovers. I said Knight of Wands, but still, isn't that funny? I said I said that for a reason. And boom, Page of Wands comes out. Your person want they're they're gonna come rushing in but they're showing up here as page of wands energy i felt the wands energy because it's it's attraction but they're very curious about you libra it's like they've they've kind of woken up they've had some they've gone through some healing they've whatever they've worked stuff out on their side whatever that means for your person but now they want to come charging in with a very direct message okay something they've been thinking about here for a spell for a minute you guys and they want to they want to ignite this they want to spark something up they want to send a text a dm some some kind of communication a message that says like hey can we talk i think that's it i think it'll just be very direct and 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 you know and they're curious about it so they want to see like how you're going to react what you're going to say and then if like they get the <laughs> and then as soon as they get the green light from you libra then it's going to open up, right? But this came out with the lovers. With the harmony card here, with this. 
with this rainbow, the foundations and achievements. Okay. I feel like you guys are going to build a home together. You guys are going to build a life together. And I feel like this person can absolutely see that with you, Libra. You, they see you as very balanced, very stable, very consistent with like who you are. You know what I mean? You're not fake. Libras are not fake. Libras are truth. We are literally the scales of justice and truth and harmony. Okay. So these are all very redeeming qualities to this person. And, and I get this energy where this person looks at you and they're just like, oh my God. So anyways, we're 25 minutes in. Could be, tw like I said, soulmate twin flame, but this is someone who's making a decision here to communicate to you. This is coming in fast, Libra. So we're already, it's like August is here. Okay, Lionsgate is in a week. We're already in the energy of Lionsgate. So this could happen anytime from the time you watch this reading, you find this reading to the next, in, in the next, I'm gonna say in the month. So next three, four weeks. But I feel like it's coming in fast for a lot of you guys, for a lot of you guys, for a lot of you guys, this could have just recently happened. Okay. And I'm just picking up on that energy. So what is the most likely, the no, what is the final outcome between Libra and their person in the month of August? What is the final outcome between Libra and their person in the month of August? Two of fucking cups, Libra. Holy crap. This is a soulmate twin flame you guys and i told you i felt it from the beginning very past life soulmate all that this to me is very six of cups we don't have the six of cups here from the tarot but it's fine because this is the same energy i told you i read energy not cards this person wants to marry the shit out of you libra like they <sighs> look at that even green on the vine like strawberry look at that green on the vine green vines you can't make this stuff up you just can't there is a powerful reunion with a soulmate twin flame coming in the month of august libra i just heard gentle giant so it could be like your person you know your person could be it, they don't have to be like a big person. I mean, you could see in this picture, both of these people are like the same size, but they could be, they could be taller than you. They could be big, big hearted, but I feel like that's what it is. I feel like your person is like this, the knight. See how he's all in armor? Your person has a tough exterior. They've kept themselves guarded, heavily protected, heavily guarded, but they can't, I can't fight this feeling. They can't fight the feeling. They just can't, they can't fight this connection because it's meant to be, it's destined, it's fate. It's destiny and fate, serendipity with the rainbow here. The end of the cycle, end of a painful kind of cycle, a long drawn out process is coming to a, everything's coming to fruition now. Fertility here, I told you, abundance, growth. Seeds you planted with someone that you've tended to, they're coming, they've popped through the ground, they're, they're full on, there's fruit and flowers and it's like, it's like this right here. Okay, it's time. Another angel, Archangel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel of Air, Archangel of the East, I believe. Um, anyways, you guys, let's get a couple of romance angel cards for you. For Libra, please, for Libra. Actually, you know what? I don't want romance angels. I'm sorry, guys. I know people love that Oracle deck, but, and I do, I love it to death. But um, I don't know, I'm just kind of burnt out on it right now. So let's do a little bit of this. For Libra, what's the final outcome for the month of August? For Libra, the sun, fucking knew it, you guys, wow. And this just flew out on top of the sun. The islands. You guys have been in separation. There could be physical distance between you, but this is your person. This is their energy. They're coming. They've been in, they've been in solitude. They've been in, they've been in hermit mode. You haven't heard from this person or you've heard barely anything from this person. I feel for a lot of you, you haven't even talked to this person. Um, independent, lonely, separate, estranged. independent, protected. See that? Protected. Your person was so heavily protected. They're letting down walls and guards, but it's like they don't even have a choice. They don't even have a choice. The universe will keep bringing this powerful of a connection. The universe will keep looping it. It'll keep coming back. 
sun. But for many of you who are watching this, it doesn't need to, right? I mean, your person still has free will, all of that. But I'm telling you guys, they can they can choose not to come in in the month of August. Absolutely. But the universe will keep looping this back around. I'm telling you guys. The sun. I'm hearing that for some of you guys, for some of you guys, some of you guys, there's, there you guys have been dealing, your person was in a third party. And that's why the lovers is here as well. They're making a choice on to and not be with you. Okay. Choice and love. But the sun is the happiest card, you guys. It's enlightenment. It's clarity. It's truth. It's abundance, growth, fertility. It's a life. You've brought so much life and light into this person's life. You light this person up, Libra. Like, I feel like you are like an angelic presence to this person in their world, in their life. Um, yeah, they definitely turn their back on this in the past for many of you and they want to come back and they know and recognize what this is. Yep. Empress, there you are, Libra, right at the very end. A new abundant cycle in love. They see you as the perfect partner, wife, sudden, unexpected. I told you guys, this was going to be very out of nowhere, out of the blue, unexpected. You're not going to see it. It's going to be, and it says ripping off the bandaid. They're coming in to rip off the bandaid. They want to, I'm sorry guys, I'm house sitting for my dear sweet friend. That was her, her daughter and her friend. They're just, they're leaving. They're going to go to the movies. Um, but they, they want to come in. It, it's, it's, this goes, this energy that I feel with the scythe is right here. It's this, it's coming in fast, very direct. It's going to, it's going to rip off the bandaid. They're just going to do it. It's like, ugh. Screw it. I just, I just got to reach out to Libra. I just got to say it. I just got to get it off my chest. It's something like that. But they're, they're bringing in clarity. Okay. All right. 32 minutes. Let's just get, this is my special deck Libra. It's very magical. I just recently uh, created it. There's all kinds of stuff. Zodiac stuff in it. Uh, moon phases, synchronicities, numbers, angel numbers, um, you know, and then like love messages and things of that nature. So, but I put a lot of energy into it and, and sound bowl healing and things of that nature. So for Libra, the month of Aries, your person could be an Aries. Maybe you just have Aries in your chart, but this is action. Aries is the Ram action oriented. Also Aries is emperor energy. You had the Empress come out, which is your energy. So for me, we have divine feminine and divine masculine and the lovers and the two of cups. This is a divine, this is your person Libra. Your souls are connected. You've had past lives before for a lot of you. For a lot of you, it's, it's, it's definitely twin flame. This is a deep, 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 deep soulmate bond. Deep Libra. Who else was I doing? And they just got something like this. I mean, a lot of, a lot of the, my readings are like this right now, but is it, was it Leo? I want to say Leo. For Libra, please, August 20. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm just on a roll, aren't I? Hold on, guys. Sorry, one second. <gasps> it's the freaking, my twin flame card. And let's do this. See? They're rushing in to rip off the band-aid because you're their twin flame and their soulmate and they're never going to meet anyone else like you, Libra. Twin flame. The universe has come in and confirmed in this reading. Thank you, spirit. Let's do this. I love that, you guys. All right, let's get one more for Libra. They're ready. Month of August is going to be fiery for you guys, Libra. All in for what you love. Told you. Emperor. With this Aries card that came out, it's the Emperor. He takes action with this night. This is coming in. Past life love. You guys, I told you. From the very beginning before I pulled any cards, I felt that. All right, let's just get one more for Libra. There we go. Happily ever after. Holy shit, you guys. This is the most insane reading. All right, hold on. My intuition saying, look at the bottom of the deck. <gasps> you're the one. You're the one. You're the one, Libra. 
Let's do this. You're the one happily ever after with my twin flame, my soulmate. I want to just come in and rip off the bandaid. I'm ready to be all in for what I love. And what I love is you, Libra. I'm ready to be all in and live happily ever after with you, Libra. Happily ever after here. I'm ready to have a home, children, a life. Perfect balance and harmony with your twin flame happily ever after. Wow. You guys, this reading was insane. I hope that it connected with you. This was absolutely amazing, mind blowing, and beautiful. Okay. Libras, August is going to be absolutely incredible for you guys. So I'm so happy for you, Libras. Um, you guys have come so, so far for so many of you and myself included, I'm right there with you guys. So, um, I'm just, I'm proud of you guys and I'm sending you guys all healing love and light. Um, if you're interested in honing in on your life, your personal situation, whatever it is that you're going through, I'm still taking personal readings at this time. Um, you can just email me down below and, uh, we'll get you set up. Okay. And if you can remember, just let me know what time zone you're in. Okay. So we can figure out the times and all that. So, all right, Libras. Bye, you guys. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> See you soon.